hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically you can take the screenshot of a html element with custom css styles right here this is basically the demo of the application we will be building here you will see there is basically a div element which contains this text out there which is written inside uh, this black color and red background color is there and a button is there if i click this button you will see this will convert this to a jpg image it will take the screenshot and it is downloaded this in an image file now you can view this image right here inside your image viewer you can zoom in you can see the quality of the image and uh, you can even edit this image guys uh, basically this is my code here uh, you can let me change this to any let me change this devon so you can see we are using html code here you can see we are using h1 heading right here and uh, if i now see this you can even change the background color here we are using properties here as you see here you can provide here any color let's suppose i provide background color to be green so now you will see the background will change to green color and now you can see that so basically it is also a very good application where you can export your text html and css to a, a simple image file we can even change this extension to png image let's suppose i need to download a png image and here you can change the mem type to image slash png so now what it will do guys it will download this as a png image you will see image dot png so either you can download this as a jpg or png so the library that i'm using guys for doing this purpose inside react chairs is this famous library which is use react screenshot basically it's a react hook library which allows you to take the screenshot of html elements with custom css styles and download them as an image files you will see it's a really popular module 9933 weekly downloads are there at the time of the recording of this video it also basically makes use of html to canvas in the background and uh, it allows you to take the screenshot and uh, i have written a complete blog post guys all the source code is given in the description of the video so if you want to read the blog post and also get all the source code you can go to my blog post which is given in the description of the video so now let's get started guys by building this application so the very first thing we need to do guys let me just uh, delete all the source code and start from scratch so here let me re uh, replace hello world so we have hello world out there guys and uh, now let me also delete this so if you now refresh here what you will find this is my basic react js project you will see hello world is there and now the very first thing you need to do you need to install this library by using this command here which is npm i uh, use react screenshot i have already installed it so i will not once again install it so the very first thing you need to do guys you need to first of all import this uh, hook library which is the actual image and then the function which will actually take the screenshot and download the image as a attachment so take screenshot and here we will be importing this library which is use screenshot so here at the very top here guys we need to import this so we will import this library use react screenshot and from this library guys it contains this hook which is use screenshot so we are using this hook here and it contains two options guys that we need to provide here which is the type of the mem type of the image so here it can be either jpg or png let me take jpg as option the second option is the quality of the image so the quality of the image will be 1.0 i you can take any quality from 0 to 1 and then basically guys we just need to have a we can edit this text out there which is the html text out there instead of hello world we will basically be having some kind of a text here so we can have a heading here so we can say this is sample text and after this we can have a simple break tag and then we can have this a paragraph tag this is simple paragraph so now you will see that guys basically we have a text heading you will see that we have 
a h1 heading here and then we have the paragraph and basically guys uh, we can have a button also so right here we will have a simple button so right here we can enclose this inside on its own div so we can simply enclose this to a nested div out there so right uh, here we will have a button here which will say take screenshot so here we will be binding a on click to this button guys so whenever user clicks this we will execute this function which is download screenshot so now we just need to define this function so right here you can define this function which is const download screenshot so basically guys uh, we just need to uh, import a reference here Rook use ref hook so we need to say create ref we just need to import this so it is imported from the react library and initial value will be null so whenever you load the component initial value will be null now we just need to attach this to this div wherever we just need to take the screenshot so it basically contains this property which is called as ref and we will attach this ref here that's all and also guys for css property we will have the style property here and we can attach this style property inside double curly brackets and here we can have our normal css styles we can have a border one pixel solid and we can provide this color css and then we can have uh, change the background color to let's suppose yellow and uh, we can even change the color of the text to black and here we can provide the padding to be around 10 pixel and margin also be 10 pixel so this is basically the css styles guys we have applied you will see that this is a yellow background color this is the text color and now if i click this button i need to download the image as a png file or jpg file so right inside this guys we will basically call this method of the hook here which is take screenshot so we will call this method take screenshot and inside this method guys we will provide the reference which is reference and it contains this current property so we have provided this reference to this div element so we are capturing the this uh, screenshot of this div element so that's why we are getting this reference here of current so after this we just need it returns a promise we can handle this using dot then and here we can call a method which will download the image so here we will call a method which is download so now we just need to define this method guys which will actually download the image in the browser so download we can define this and here it will basically have uh, some things which will be available to it first is the image and the second one will be object so here will be the name of the image which will be img and extension here we can provide the extension jpg that's all and uh, you can see that like this so it contains two properties here inside the argument first is the actual image guys that we need to download and second is the options here you can change the file name we have provided image let me say sample image this will be the file name given this is extension this can change to png also you just need to modify here image slash png and then this that's all this is the argument which it takes and now inside this we can make use of the anchor tag we can create an element document create element and inside this anchor element we can make the href to be equal to the actual image url and then we can a dot download we can create file name so this guys it is a method which is available inside this package use react screenshot create file name we will create the file name that is given we will pass the extension and the name of the file so it will create the file name and then we will actually click it programmatically this anchor element so now if i click this button you will see that sample image.jpg file is downloaded and this is our 
actual image file it is su successfully captured the screenshot of the dev element and all the CSS styles are preserved out there you will see that the background color the text color the margin and the padding so I think it's a really good uh, library I think you can e also embed images here let me cross check if you can do here let me take a image for example copy image address and right inside my HTML I can have an image tag and source let me embed this image and try let's suppose if also it this is basically the image which is there if I now click take screenshot and now if I see okay for images uh, which are you are loading from a external URL it will not translate to so images will not get translated it will not be get captured but still it is a good library guys definitely try it all the source code is given in the description of the video and I will be seeing you in the next video